Okay guys, back out here for a minute. Pay no attention to that sound. I'm bleeding off the compressor slowly. We got these bad boys. Showed these years ago. I'll put them back in. Yeah. Got four and I'm only gonna use two. Okay. I don't have all the lights on. Yeah, let me turn this off. Um This is the first set I've ever seen where the wheel well matches the opening. But you can't make the mistake of putting them on like this, like they did back in the day. Okay. We will determine the height that we want. You put one upper screw in, you leave it semi-loose, and you just attach something to it across here and across to the other one. And when you attach them like this, it straightens it out and you put the other screw, what, two screws, whatever you feel. So, uh, yeah, these are dated 1982, at least this package is the other package, same brand, no date. I think, I think it's a little older. So, uh, yeah, I brought home the moldings. Uh, they're sitting in the car. I brought home the other piece of glass. The other piece of glass is against the wall. I got to look at them. I think one of them needs to be re-glued, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, you can tell all these are the plastic, like shattered. <laughs> the junior dug them out. So, this, this one is so old that the plastic is gold. That one, the plastic's clear. So when we got them, we thought one had gold letters, one had silver. Um, but it doesn't. Okay, this one doesn't have the date on it anywhere. Made in the USA. The other one is almost identical. It says 1982. So, do any damage to those. So, answer a couple of questions before the batteries go dead. I don't want to get too long-winded, but I usually do. Why am I spending so much time on the appearance of this car? Why are we going crazy? Why don't I just slap it together and drive the car? My name's going on the car. His name's going on the car. Okay, so I would rather... It's not going on for any kind of bodywork reasons. It's going on for the welding reasons. The name of his little welding company will be on this car. Uh, it's going to be incorporated into the scoop. As a mural with the name and it'll probably be across the whole back window across this back well the, the hatch isn't in here across the back window and i'll let him leave his decals here i'll let him do whatever he wants i'm not letting him do anything so i want to make sure that when people walk up to the car and my name is on it and his name i mean our last name is on it um that that not looking at a pile of piece together crap that they could see, you know what I mean, that um, he's taken, I've taken effort in the car. He just done a lot more work on this car than you guys will ever see on the video camera. A lot more. I don't show a lot. Okay? You just see me out here working on it. You don't see what's happening behind the scenes and all the work he's done. Or anybody new to the channel does not remember all the work he's done on this car. Uh, he'd even be out here more, but sometimes I just need to be out here alone. So, uh, with that said... Um, uh, I think that's, I'm trying to think, uh, oh, like I said, I got the moldings, um, I don't know, he might have won this molding today, I didn't look to see, um, but I got that molding and the two rear moldings in my car, one of the two rear moldings has a little ding in it, and the lip underneath the car, not the part you see, but the lip underneath has a little wave section about this big. That should be this one right here. If I'm not mistaken, it's this molding. And I think it's the right here. Because the moldings are deeper than the actual lip of the well. And they overhung into the well. And we were going to a swap meet. Had the trail hooked up. Just had the trail hitch. And we were going vending. Uh, if you remember, this was my vendor car. Uh, and we went to make a U-turn, I pulled into somebody's driveway, went up the apron, and this tire went all the way up into the well, and the tires were wide that I had on there, and it hooked that metal, and I heard a and when I went to back out, it cut that tire like a razor blade, 
it didn't pop it. I don't know how it didn't. It took a whole section of treads left them on the floor. But with that, it put a little wave on the inside. Not the, not out here or even the curve. The back part where it overhung, but it pulled it down. And I was able to straighten it the best I could. I went to the swap meet to make money, because that's what it's all about. That's what this was about. This car always paid for itself. Um, so with that said, I want to put tape on the wells put them up here put a couple of screws in there and like I said go on the back side trace it with a marker and then probably come in like a good eighth of an inch from there because these lips are all painted from there and that'll get rid of the majority of that and only have to straighten out a little bit which I'm going to try and do with a hammer and dolly I just don't remember without looking if this is the same one that has the ding on it or not um, I've never worked on stainless steel molding before I've never Remove the ding. Um, common sense tells me that you work the ding out from the backside. It's going to be raised up a little bit, and I'm going to file it down till it's flush, and then go through all the processes of uh, smoothing it and polishing it. But you can't make the uh, spot too high, or you'll wear right through it. That's my understanding. Is I tried to do that on analyzed anodized aluminum once, and obviously I broke through the anodized. So we have a bunch of stainless to polish. So that means this stuff will disappear. We'll pull out the small table. I'll get my thing with my polishing pads and just clamp it there with two C-clamps. And we'll just start buffing I'll Slide the curtain over and blow all the stuff onto the curtain. And uh, we got a bunch of lips. We got the things on the roof and we can just start putting stuff on. Polish it and put it on. Polish it and put it on. If anything needs repair, we see what we can do. Um, some things will not be perfect. We will hunt as time goes on. Very hard to find stuff for this. Um, but those are the plans. So, uh, yeah. So I just wanted to keep you guys up to date of what was going on. I wanted to get a lot more done today. But I knew I was going to be in the jam. Um, what you guys didn't see is because I ran out of battery. Is when I did the B pillar on the other side, there was a Sega. And wedged against that wall, I stood out my aluminum paddle and removed it. It wasn't massive, but it was there. And I worked that out in that little tiny area. Um, blocked it, did everything I had to do, was able to look at it from every angle, it was gone, and then I buffed it. But I just don't have enough room in that back corner. Because um, I saw how much room I used here. I just don't have it. I might be able to do it. I probably could do it, but it would be tight.